We continue our offseason spotlight with the South Carolina Gamecocks. Earlier we focused in on Marcus Lattimore and how big this offseason needs to be for him, especially considering the fact you know, that he had that knee injury. We want to see how healthy he is. You know, can he get that, si that, that speed and that strength back that he had that made him such an elite running back, not just in the SEC, but in the entire country. You know, some other guys to keep an eye out on, I think defensively, up front, South Carolina is going to be talented, even though they lost Melvin Ingram. But a guy to keep an eye out on is Jadavian Clowney. He had a tremendous freshman season, but sometimes these talented freshmen tend to have sophomore slumps. I don't think that he has that mindset. He didn't let the hype get to him last year. I don't think that he's going to have much of a drop-off, but you know he does have more responsibility on his plate now. I think Kelsey Quarles is in the same conversation. Travion Robertson is gone at the defensive tackle spot, so now Quarles will have more responsibility. And he has to realize there's going to be more pressure on him, and teams are going to be coming at him more uh, in 2012. You know, at the cornerback spot, Stephon Gilmore is gone, and that means that Victor Hampton has a chance to come in and be a starter. Now, he's had his off-field issues. The coaches aren't sure what, what his discipline level is right now. Um, but he does have a lot of talent. The coaches have been excited about what he can do at the corner spot with that speed and that athleticism. But now it's all about maturity for him if he wants to really have a shot in 2012. You know, offensively, Connor Shaw is going to get a ton of attention. Uh, he really came into his own as more of a, a pass-first quarterback at the end of last season. Had some tremendous outings toward the end of the year, especially against Clemson. Now it's just about maturing as a quarterback, you know, making sure that he doesn't get happy feet in the pocket, um, and developing more chemistry with his wide receivers and becoming more of a leader. And Speaking of wide receivers, you know, now that Alshon Jeffrey is gone, there's a lot of young talent there and a lot of unproven talent. You know, We didn't see anybody step up opposite Jeffrey last year. Someone has to this season. You know. Will it be a guy like Ace Sanders that they thought would be that number two? Uh, maybe Bruce Ellington comes back and becomes that, that athlete that they thought he would in the offense. Or Demir Bird, a guy who can be a real home run threat for this team. Also keep an eye out for incoming freshman Shaq Rowland. I think he has that talent to be an elite receiver in this league. But he's going to be a freshman. He's going to need to mature his game and have guys kind of help him to adjust to the college level. But I think he's someone that could, you know, right off the bat, be an impact for this offense. For ESPN.com, I'm Edward Ashoff.